Hi sailors, welcome to Beneteau 21.7 first. Here you have anchor compartment. You have 10 kg done for the anchor inside with 10 meters of chain plus 30 or 40 meters of rope. And that should be enough to anchor your boat safely. There is another spare anchor in the cabin. I will show that here later. Let's go to the cockpit now. Now I will show you how to use sails. How to open the jib? Just open this block here and pull the jib sheet. Now the jib is open. When we want to close the jib, uh, we will just pull this roller rope here and the jib will close. Secure, we will secure jib with at least one jib sheet. Okay, what's the correct way to use the winch? Go clockwise two times and go around this plate here, also from the starboard side, and now it is locked. How to use a mainsail? You have to open the zipper, just open this zipper, and this is a this is main halyard rope that brings the sets the main sail up. Okay, just open this rope and I usually put this jib, uh, this main sail halyard here uh, around the goose neck to secure the main sail down to not be taken out by strong wind when you don't want to use the main sail. Okay, and now the main sail is ready to, to, to be set up. Okay, now I will not set the main sail up. I will just put the halyard back around the gooseneck. I will close this block here. And I will, I will, I will close Lazy bag. As I mentioned before, we have two reefing lines that are connected to the core part of the main sail, and those are coming to, to the blocks in the top. green one and yellow one. Yellow one is first reef, and green one is second reef. When you set the main sail up, you will have to release this rope. It is a topping lift. How to release it? And why to release it? Because this is not sailing position of the boom. This is too high. I set it up because I wanted to set the sun shield. But if you want to, to release it to the sailing position, when you set the main sail up, just release it with this system here completely. And uh, in that case, you will be able to have mainsail completely flat. You have plenty of mooring ropes here in this bench, in the port bench. You have mooring ropes, four or five, and you have one long rope for shoreline or something. There is a, also a canister with 10 liters of petrol. It is spare fuel, and you have main reservoir here with 23 liters of petrol. I will show you now the main engine. It is the Hatsu 5 horsepower four-stroke engine. It consumes only plain fuel, petrol 95 or 98. And now I will show you how to put the engine in the water and how to start the engine. Uh, if the engine is tilted like this, you have to pull the engine towards yourself a bit and pull this lever up and hold that lever and until the engine goes straight. Okay, and now the engine is in the water, but not deep enough. You have to put the engine down. Take this handle here, un unlock this uh, lever here, and put the engine down as far as it, as it goes. Okay, now we have engine in the water, and we have to start the engine. 
this engine is uh, was not started for last several days and now it is it, we say the, the engine is cold and the procedure for starting cold engine the cold engine is next pump the fuel here until there is no uh, air in this in this pump okay and put the uh, the sh gear shift in the neutral position you have neutral position in the middle when you this is forward position neutral and reverse i can pull, put uh, the engine into reverse my engine is not working so if the engine is not into neutral position for example now it is in forward you will not be able to pull the starter rope when you put the engine into neutral position you will be able to pull the rope okay that means pump the fuel put the engine into neutral position and pull the choke out pumping neutral position choke and now we have to pull the the starting uh, uh, starter rope okay how to prepare four stroke engine to to start it uh, and it's stroke engine uh, four stroke engine that starts with kick starter pull this pull this rope slowly until it shows some uh, uh, until it becomes hard. That means your piston is in perfect position for starting the engine. And just return the rope and pull very strongly. Okay. Now the engine is started and we will leave it for one minute until it warms up. And you will know it is becoming warm because the revolutions will fall down. Okay, revolutions are going down. We will wait a bit more. Okay, now I will close the choke. But before I close the choke, I will have to give some throttle, 20 or 30 percent of throttle. You can see here a cooling water indicator. That means that cooling is working as it should work. It is very important. And also there is, there is a light here, a red light. It must not be shown because this means the oil engine oil level is critical. There is no light, so that means the oil engine level is correct. When you want to look the engine in central position, since the engine has tendency to rotate counterclockwise, you can use this to connect it to engine candle, and this will keep your engine in, in central position. I will shut down the engine here now. Fuel is coming from the main reservoir through this pipe, and this pipe mu must be always connected to the to the engine. At full speed of 5.5 knots, this engine consumes 1.3 liters of petrol per hour. And if you lower the speed of the boat to 5 knots, uh, consumption will go down to 1 liter per hour. This was starting procedure for the cold engine, and now we will start the engine that is already warm. We will not use choke. Neutral position, pump the fuel, no choke, but this time I will give some 20 or 30% of throttle here. And I will prepare the, the engine for starting. Pull the rope, it stopped here. Return rope. And immediately release throttle to zero. I will shut down the end the engine now and we are done with the engine we will enter the cabin i will show you everything in the cabin how to open the door uh, pull this catch towards yourself pull it up and push it completely okay and now you can remove the door there is a special place for the door here in the boat Please. You can put the door here. We have a winch handle here. We have a compass that is 
visible from both sides, from outside and inside the boat. A keel here is locked, you cannot use, uh, lift the keel. We have dishes here, we have plates, two cooking pots, uh, cutlery and uh, glasses. You have also salt and sugar and cutting board here. And very important part of the tool on the boat is big knife. It is not only for cooking, but if you if you need to, to, to cut the ropes, you have to, or fight the locals, you have to have big knife. Okay, we have cooker here, we have a gas bottle here. When we want to start the cooker, we have to open the gas here and press this and use the lighter to start the, the, the flame. Okay, uh, it is important to keep this regulator here as, uh, uh, as, as up straight as possible because if you roll the, the bottle upside down, the, this will get stuck. This, this uh, sink drain is not connected anymore. It is closed and locked and there is no possibility to enter the water from, uh, from, 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 the, from this uh, side. Okay, we have a sponge if you have some water in the boat, you can remove it. Okay, uh, we, have, we have some, we have first aid kit here. We have lots of uh, life jackets below these uh, uh, beds and also under the other beds. Uh, we have some tools with spare things inside here. And we have battery charger here that uses 220 volts to recharge the battery. How to recharge the battery? Thank you. You have to connect extension cable to the shore power. Connect battery charger here. And press the only button on the battery charger two times until you get automobile mode here. There is a 12 volt solar charging controller here. And this green flashing light says the battery is completely charged and it is not even charging battery anymore. And this green light says that solar panel is charging. It is working and there is light on it. Okay, and this switch here, it is the main 12 volt switch. Uh, when I press this, the light goes white and now you have electricity in the boat, 12 volt electricity. When you want, when you want to start the cabin light, you have to press the switch to the, to the right side and you have to press this switch on the on the light itself uh, when you want to start navigation light on the top of the mast tricolor light red uh, green and uh, white you have to press this switch up and there are no lights now and if you want to start the anchor light you have to put this uh, switch in position too and now we have 360 white light on the top of the mast. Now we don't have the lights in again. Uh, this switch here is for autopilot. This switch here starts these two USB ports, plugs. And this one starts instruments. We have instruments in the cockpit, uh, wind speed and direction and the uh, depth meter and speed through the water. And this switch here starts the shower cockpit shower. How to install cockpit table. You have to take this pipe and you have to take this table. Put this pipe in the hole and put the table on the pipe. And that is all. Open this and you have a shower with three meters of pipe. Press this button here. This starts shower pump. This starts shower pump for 30 seconds. And just press this here. Autopilot is not standard part of equipment, it is one of the extras. 
and it is a very very useful thing first I have to connect this autopilot with 12 volt power this this knob goes down Okay, now we have electricity. Put this cable here. We don't to cut it. We don't want to cut it by branch. And take this leg out and put it in the hole in the bench. And press right switch to extend the rod here. And we want to lock it here. And it must you must hear click okay now it is auto uh, pilot is connected but it is not working uh, because this red light is flashing that means it is in standby mode we want to put it into auto mode to to keep the boat's course and i will press it once and now the red light is not flashing it is uh, stable it is constant and uh, now the autopilot has internal compass here and it will try it will try to, to keep the boat's course uh, if you want to adjust boat course you can go to the port side it is red light every press means one degrees one degree and if you want to change your course to the to the starboard side press the green switch here this switch here and the green light is going and uh, when you want to turn for more than one degree uh, press this switch and keep it for two seconds and it will uh, make double beep and that means it will turn for 10 degrees it will change the course for 10 degrees 10 20 30 etc i will uh, i will sh uh, shut down the, the autopilot now it started to blinking. I will unlock this lever from the knob, and I do, I want to put this lever back, and it is it must be in standby mode. And press press the port switch, and it will retract lever completely inside. Okay. Remove it from the bench. Never leave autopilot under the bench when it is connected to the, to the uh, uh, electric uh, supply. Okay, unlocked and I will put it in the, in the cabin to the safe place. One more uh, non-standard piece of equipment is mobile toilet here. And I, I keep it here under the cockpit uh, because it is the, it is the place with, with the lowest amplitude when the boat is rolling and it, it is also divided from the cabin with this wall here and I didn't have issues with this uh, mobile toilet like leaking or something but I want to keep it in the separate area uh, when you want to use the toilet just open the toilet use Use your shower to fill it with some water. Use this toilet and open this door here and this water will fall down into the gray part. Okay, now this reservoir is filled with a uh, special liquid, liquid, blue liquid inside and uh, one liter of water and that is enough to kill all the odors and just lock this and your toilet is ready to use it again okay if if you fill 15 liters uh, of the bottom part completely you have to discharge this toilet and you have to to, uh, to remove uh, clean part from the dirty part by pulling this lever here okay. and you can discharge it either in the special facility or at the open sea by opening this hatch here 
discharge the reservoir and when you want to use it again to be ready to use it again just take this refill bottle with special liquid put it inside the reservoir and put one liter of fresh water so your mobile toilet is uh, ready to be used again okay i will close this now how to connect it you have two two knobs here that must go behind this and your th those two parts must be connected very easily with with low pressure it must be it's very very nice to there is there is no force needed to lock it okay now it is it is completely connected as you can see here with the young gap and it is safe to be used again i suppose that you will not be able to, to fill it with 15 liters of uh, uh, wastewater in uh, in a week but in, in case that you need to refill it you know how to use it behind the toilet we have a basket with spare anchor it is uh, it is uh, quite big anchor with uh, three meters of heavy chain plus 30 meters of rope and this can be used as a spare anchor or together with the main anchor uh, this pipe here this pipe here is uh, part of the bilge pump system uh, it is it is quite long it can reach any part of the boat and uh, if you have water anywhere in the boat you can extend this pipe put it in the water and I will show you how to pump that water under the bench there is a pump under the bench next to the reservoir you have boats hook here also it can be useful sometimes when you are going to the boiler if you have to take something from the sea okay uh, I have to remove a reservoir because build build pump is here. Build pump is here. It is close to the skipper's place because you have to be able if you are alone on the boat you have to be able to pump the build pump and to to sail the boat. And just put this lever inside and pump. It. This is sun shield. I will show you next how to use the sun shield. Since the sun shield is going over the boom, we have to remove lazy lines. We have clips here and I will put it just here around the lazy lines. It would be enough for our sun shield to, to start. Okay. Take the sun shield and narrow part goes to the bow. Wider part, rear part has a clip connected somewhere here. And take this long rope between lazy lines. You can use this knot. Okay, I will connect all four corners of the sun shield here. At the transom you have 
you have the sea ladder and do not do not connect it with the rope here it must be always uh, accessible from the sea you must be able if you fall in the sea or if you jump in the sea you must be able to open the ladder from the sea if you if you tie it here with the rope you will not be able to 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 open the ladder and you might find yourself in a problem. I wouldn't trust to all those compar compartments under the beds if they will stay dry. Because we are at the sea, you can get some wave from the hatch and could be wet. I but I think the, the, the driest part of the boat is here. It is starboard bunk, sorry, port bunk. Enjoy and sail safely.